Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. This just gonna be quick so you can see the overall energy. I know earlier in the week I mentioned um, how certain things are like going and playing out, um, especially with this fire energy. Okay. So, but I do feel like there's just. You know, the energy is shifting. It definitely shifted for me on multiple levels, okay? So what I'm going to do is, you know, you, them, them, you. You know, like, you got to pick a side, all right? And I'm just going to kind of read your energy. So one side, one side of a situation. And then we'll do the other side of a situation. Okay. One side of the situation is worried how something's going to go down. All right. So I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And then we got fear. Okay. I'm realizing to, you know, testing to resolve to live in the energy of love. So somebody is like, whoa. Okay. Other side. What are you doing, Sheldon? Hmm. All right. All right, other side, other side, other side. I guess not. Okay, so I guess the overall energy is fear and worry. So it really depends on you. And what's next? Basically, these are lessons, right? So someone either is worried and, and scared shitless about a situation or somebody's just at the point where it's like, I'm not letting nothing phase me and I'm moving forward. I do feel like... The fear is is different. If you guys watch Patreon, that's the kind of fear that I'm feeling. And I believe that card, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was guilt. Um, that had nothing to do with something on the other side of a situation. Um, for those who are on Patreon, I did upload Soul's Contract, just so you know. Okay. That is a, a weekly read that I offer on Patreon that comes along with the... Um, all 12 zodiacs for two dollars a week you can have them all <clears throat> so there's something possibly linked to that so let me just let me just see a little something so we have the strength the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Two of Wands on one side. Okay. Now, here's the thing this is either someone gaining their strength to go towards this, or it's a feminine gain, gaining their strength. But see, there's like, it's like a destined path here. See what the other side is energy is. Queen of Wands. Ace of Coin. Six of Cups. So dealing with your past or children. Sorry, my phone's on. I completely spaced out. Um, okay. It's almost like turning your back. This pile is like turning your back to a situation. I don't know if it's like something's just wasn't enough regarding something with the past. You know, you're not dwelling on it. 
You're not sitting in energy. You're not feeling lonely. There's no petty energy. You just weren't happy with the situation. Okay. A lot of feminine energy here. Look at all the blue. Okay, clearly I gotta check on that just in case it's a child. And it is. I wanna be able to concentrate. Oh, didn't she luck out? Max, get down. Cute. Lonnie's at the beach. She's like, no one here, totally scored. A friend of hers rented a house and uh, it's like, it's like perfect right now because no one's taking like little vacations, you know, so they scored. All right. So I laid out in the backyard today, burnt my little kneecaps. So there's something quiet here and it's quieting me up, which is kind of like... All right, I don't know who sides who. Got a feminine energy on both ends. Let's go back to this. Tell me about strength. If somebody has the strength, see, that's that's not fear. Somebody's very confident, loving, wears their heart on the sleeve. Someone probably that knows what fate is, destiny is spiritual, um, knows it's time to go in a new direction. So I don't know if, like, you turn your back and then this is somebody looking at you, like, because this is confidence. Like, you, it's almost like you got yourself out of a situation, you know, that sucked the energy from you or something because the devil comes before the strength. So when strength pops out, the devil was always lurking, right? So it was like a situation that was no good. I don't see any worry here per se yet, okay? Um, this particular eight of pens, ace of pens does remind me of somebody who was kind of like bugging out over a situation. So I kind of feel like we have an energy over here that's like unhappy about a situation. Like somebody from their past turned their back on them. Maybe they're looking at you as the queen of wands. I, I don't want to really look at it like that, you know, that side, that side, but so let's see. Strength. Yeah, see, this is you strong enough to make a decision regarding probably a masculine. Like something came to a halt. Or this is somebody who is now making a decision. All right. Yeah, see, no. It's either, again, somebody wanting to transform something. Look, someone's guarded. There was no vulnerability. The tower came in a couple times. Someone wants to pass back. But it is something's not working out. You're either dealing with a strong water sign. We've got, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces all in, in one collaboration. you got strength here, which is a Leo. But I'm just more or less, this is, this is strength, especially with this coming out, right? This was making a decision to end something because... Like I said, something was not something was not good. It just it looks like you're more on solid grounds, going in a new direction. You're like transforming your own life, picking and choosing, not letting anybody get the best of you. Yeah, see, creating something new. You could be manifesting something. Um, whatever your next endeavor is, you're more than capable of doing it. You could be creating a new spiritual business. Well, this major arcana with you on this side. So you're definitely going in a new direction. Like you, you're already, it's in your head. You're like, nope, I'm out. It's a strong, this is strong, strong water in your chat or fire. And you're heading in a new direction. To me, this might be shocking to someone else. I think somebody else is more shocked. Because look at this, King of Wands, if I put that here, looking right at her. See, I, this is somebody who's 
looking at you as the Queen of Wands. And I'm sorry it's coming out that way because I want your side, their side. So basically, I'm not going to say feminine, masculine, you know. Um, you just have to pick a scenario. So this is going to be shocking to somebody. Maybe it's already over or they hear something through the grapevine. What's this? We're going to go one more time. So there's feminine energy over here that made a choice. And to me, it was to take yourself out of a situation that just games, all sorts of stuff. Who knows, right? But it was toxic. So it could be all sorts of stuff. So you also decided not to talk to someone. Because the King of Swords Reverse is, is not talking. So this could be a masculine that's changing their perspective, made a decision, now has strength after something ended. This is somebody who is seeing something differently but is not saying anything to you. So I still strongly feel like this side is definitely the a feminine energy. And again, okay. It just, it is, it is what it is. Even if you're same sex, you're just going to have to find out who's more masculine. All right. Who's not. I had a string sticking in between my leg. It was annoying. So that's probably a message. You're probably annoyed with the situation. So I really do feel like you made a decision you move forward, you ended something, you're going in a new direction, you're not talking to somebody, and somebody's now seeing it. Like an energy, you got a masculine that's like not saying something to you right now, but they can see it. But they can see it. It's like your life is, um, it's like transforming, it's just going in a new direction. And it's probably when you decided to end something. Yeah, see? Another feminine. See, this is the masculine looking at you as the queen of wands. And again, it's the same energy here, the king of pence. So, yeah, you're creating your own happiness right now. You don't need anybody. This is a scenario where it's like, you you don't need, you would want. You're literally manifesting your own happiness by breaking free from a situation and making a decision. You were probably dealing with somebody who wasn't saying much, maybe somebody who wasn't making a decision, so you felt the need that you had to make a decision. I feel like this should be upright. It's the way I picked it up. But I'm, I'm not because I laid it that way. So I don't know if it's like you, you shot in another direction and somebody's like, shit. It's, it's like somebody woke up. After like a disturbance, like somebody realizes they probably had to let their guard down. Somebody probably realizes that vulnerability was necessary. Um, it's like wouldn't open up, wouldn't talk upright. This energy is still someone who's extremely detached. And again, it still bottoms down to somebody didn't want to make a decision, so somebody did. Oh, yeah. See, this person who now wants to let their guard down made a decision about you. But you already kind of went in a different direction. All right. So now... This is how someone's looking at you. 
it's like, I can't believe they turned their back on a new start or something. Like, you've known this person before. You either have kids or, like, it's the Six of Cups. It's somebody from your past. Hmm. So somebody's just observing. Yeah, it's the same energy. Can't believe it's over. King of Cups. I can't believe it ended. Yeah, High Priestess, there you are. It's like you are happy. This is somebody who is like, I don't need them. They're not my happy. I can ignore them. You know, I don't need them in my life. And now you're like, fuck. There, this is something destined too, or it was. When the tower and death come in, some of you definitely miss an opportunity. It's like maybe you didn't follow your gut. It's almost like you could have possibly manifested something. I'm just reading because it's either your energy or theirs. So this is all combined clearly. Okay. So I don't know if it's like you wanted to go in a certain direction. It was a big wake-up call. But here's the thing. That means somebody manifested somebody. It was already like something there. There was happiness. There was something. The only thing that wasn't there was vulnerability. There was no vulnerability. There was someone detached. It was somebody who didn't want to make decisions. Really? So... <sighs> You know, this is somebody, again, I don't know if they're going to try to come at you. They're kind of bugging out. That's probably where, like, that's coming in. Because you have another energy over here that's really strong and took themselves out of a situation that was not working. Yeah, see the King of Wands. They're not, they're not taking action. It's almost like they let you walk away. I don't know if they thought you would be back. Like, maybe you always came back. And you wrapped it up, and now they're just kind of watching. Because this is somebody who's not, they didn't put enough effort in. They didn't, you know, this is somebody, the King of Wands is not taking action. It's just somebody who's doing nothing, worried about themselves. And now, once again, you know, missing a certain type of energy around. At one point, somebody was catering. Queen of Cups again. This Nine of Cups is not like wish fulfillment though. Like I think this is like an energy of arguing, fighting, can't believe I can't have what I, I want. Again, still not doing anything. Seven of Cups, keeping options open. Illusionary energy, got another seven here too. Being guarded. The, yeah, this is like something had to come to an end. Because it was just... Conflict, battles, ego. I think you were dealing with somebody who was selfish. The lovers. Three of cups. So it was multiple people here. Or you were just, Max, get out of there. What? No, that's you. Kessel, are you kidding me? You can't hang out in there with Sheldon. Get out of there. Get out. What are you doing? Get out. 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 All right, 
you gonna make me get the squirt bottle? Where is it? Where's the squirt bottle? I don't even know. Oh, here it is. Here it comes. Yep, this usually goes right to Max. Oh, your turn. Out. Out. Thank you. Sorry, Sheldon. Seriously? Guess there's a first for everything. Definitely didn't see that coming. Kessel never goes in there, ever. So I don't know what that's all about. Three of Cups. Or was it your happiness? Yeah, see, no. It's like you don't want to accept something's over. You let your ego get in the way here. Somebody did. Yeah, competition. You, you know, I feel like, I, see again, somebody blocked somebody else. And this is somebody who doesn't want to own it. This is somebody who could have had a new start with somebody. They probably said, I want to work on me. I want to go within. I'm confused. You know, kept you in this fucked up energy. But was really, what they really didn't want to do, they knew they had to make a choice. People were arguing about what people were doing, who they were hanging out with, how the future, how things were going to roll. Somebody talked some shit about somebody else. They allowed competition. So basically, they turned, it's like they turned their back on something that could have been really good. But they chose someone from their past. Not necessarily to go back to them. But the arguments, the competition, the, the lies, the excuses. Like it was too much. So they had to shut someone out. So, But this is the energy of... You know, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. You know, my past. I, I need to work on me. No. It had nothing to really do with you. You you got to a point where you got caught up in so much lies. That you had to back off somebody. So you threw excuses somebody's way. And now it looks like you're like shit. But you're dealing with somebody who did not deal with your excuses. It's not a thing. They shut that shit down real quick. So, I don't know if you thought you were gonna get fed and now it's arguments. Again, Knight of Pence reverse, not, not doing anything. There's the lies, there's the deception. Like, it's, it's like you had to put it to a halt because your past played a big role. Your, your past blocked you. But the thing is, you allowed your past to block you. And then you gave someone you gave someone else excuses. And here's the thing. You were messing with somebody that's clearly spiritual. This is like a big time lesson for you. This energy don't take jack shit. This is an I want what I want and I'm going to get what I want. Mm -mm, she doesn't play. This one doesn't play games. When she sees games being played all around her, she will back the fuck up. And she sure did. This is a spiritual man or woman that's been through enough battles to know what was happening. Enough. There was just games, manipulation, somebody saying like, and somebody actually not saying, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's kind of like a wish come true. You have a blast with this person, but yet not telling this person. Purposely, you would love to keep the communication open just to kind of like argue. So I don't know if you were dealing with somebody who kind of like wanted to purposely trigger you. This person had no idea who they were messing with. It's, I can just, the word that just came to me is just, it's nonsense. And again, shut something down because of lies. Didn't want to tell the truth. Didn't want to own a situation. I'm not saying they went back to the past to try again. But their past somehow was blocking their present 
moment for anyone from making a decision on moving forward, which, you know, shitty, but it happens. So now this is somebody who just wants their happy back and don't know if it's really going to go down that way. This is somebody that allowed other people to fight for them, to fight over them. See again, competition, love is upright, keeping other people confused, giving excuses. This is this is someone's ego got in the way. And apparently somebody else. This is somebody who thought like, oh, I can play hard to get or I'm rough and tough and I'm the masculine energy. And, you know, this person's just going to fall right back into this trap or, you know, I'm going to turn this person on this way. And it's like, I know, buddy, you just ended up all by yourself. You had to have seen this all going down. Not enough frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, ego, fear, jealousy, addiction popped out with the masculine energy, codependent, obsessions, restriction, has a blockage. Well, guess who that blockage is? Somebody from their past. And it doesn't even look like they're with them. But they still chose somebody from their past and they lost their opportunity for happiness. Where's the love? Where is the love? There's no, like, where's the love? This is like, this is like happy, happy, but there, there's no love. You have a masculine energy that's now frustrated in a situation, has lack of confidence, has jealousy, things going on, self-sabotaging situations because of the past. Like I said, you allowed it to happen. I don't know if somebody just talked shit, gave you bad advice, drama, gossip, and it's like you fell for it. Somebody else saw this happening. Someone else saw this coming. And then you have codependent obsession, possession, control, and has a block of restraint. Could be an actual an addiction or it's just, you know. You got me. This is somebody who likes to have a little bit of control, likes to, um, likes to keep you at bay just enough. It's like playing hard to get, but it backfired. It's, it's backfired. And you have another energy here heading in a brand new direction, not even looking back. Yeah, ascending. Like I said, transitioning obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Who knows who it's with, but I'll tell you. It, I, I can't imagine it's this past person. I really can't because that energy sucked your energy. It wore you out. The devil comes before strength. Without that person being around you, you ascended. It's like you were around for a good time, not a long time. Because they're legit looking at you as the Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands. That's like playing partying, hanging out, shits and giggles, laughing, having a good time, but not committing, not taking things serious. You know, um, somebody who just thought they could get dick when they wanted it. Well, clearly you gave it to them, but you also shut that shit down. You probably asked for more. You didn't get it. And that's what it came down to. This person, when they find out you you actually went in a new direction, is going to be shocked as shit. It's also energy of them wanting to come back around now and be more vulnerable. You're not even telling them your plan. you got a plan here and they don't even know it. And your plan really doesn't even have anything to do with them. It's just you moving forward. And you're still dealing with an energy that feels like it's not enough and it was listening to codependent you know, stuff has a block. Yeah, you got a freaking block. You let somebody else block you. You let a bad someone else's bad advice 
put something at a halt. Like, you did it to yourself. Like there, And I don't even see a lesson here. So I don't even know if this energy learned the lesson, to be quite honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. You had a beautiful, beautiful connection with somebody. That sucks. I just asking what happened. Codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. You know, you had the runner come come out at the bottom of the deck over here. So again, it could have been whoever they were dealing with, runner chaser. Bullshit. You're smart enough, you don't play runner chaser. This is somebody who thought they were you were going to chase after them. You know, but they were already in a codependent situation. They were already in a situation that they were, weren't even getting enough out of. Okay, and is now extremely frustrated that they're finding themselves in this situation. Because they're not happy where they chose to invest. And it could have just been them investing in themselves. Like I said, I don't even know if it's someone who went back to their past. Because I don't see love. But it's somebody that sure is letting them stop. This is, I'm, I'm telling you, this is like cocky motherfucker. I know this energy very well. Who thought acting hard to get and a badass would get them somewhere. And it got them nowhere. This chick said, go kick rocks. They thought they were messing with somebody that they can do that with. And now they miss you. They got, this is an energy they wouldn't tell you they missed you. This is an energy of saying, I'm good on my own. Bullshit. Bullshit, you're not. You can, you're independent enough to be on your own and to do your thing, but you won't have what you wanted, and what you wanted, you let go for something you didn't even fucking want. <laughs> oh, I really hope there's lessons learned here. You know, this is somebody who wanted you to chase them. Games, manipulation, playing hard to get. It worked for me before. Why can't it work for me this way? Yeah, well, because you made the wrong fucking choice. You allowed yourself to, in a way, want to know what it is? I think you could control this energy. Whomever your past is, you had a little control over. You didn't have control over her. At all. Zero control. And you might have not even been happy about her spirituality. You might even try to convince her to go in another direction and to create something new. And what it did was fucking backfire. Like spirit, universe, universe, it like backfired on you. It's almost like you tried to get her or him to go in another direction and it backfired. And by her letting go of you, she transcended. She's like, I'm not getting stuck in nobody else's bullshit or karma. I'm not getting stuck in a fucking obstacle. I've already learned lessons. I know how to expand. I know how to move forward. You were dealing with a masculine that straight up wanted you to chase him. Or if you're in the same sex, it's it was the masculine energy. And now this energy has a little bit of fear. This is somebody who's like, well, just start an argument with you to kind of keep a conversation going. Kind of see what they can get. They definitely messed with the wrong person. This is somebody who just kept feeding you excuses and they thought it was going to work. It didn't. Yeah, they thought they could just keep juggling you. They came up with an excuse, excuse, excuse after excuse. So then they didn't have to face their own reality. Right? This is somebody who was holding on to something real tight. Something that was already fucking dead and gone. Somebody held on to something that was already dead. Could it have been for financial reasons? Maybe. I don't see it here really. Let's find out about this six of cups because this is somebody's this is somebody's past. Yeah, you were, you were given and taken. You let somebody's past, you let this energy over here let their own past past interfere. And I'm telling you, there's like this bad advice. This energy purposely kept you restricted. It's the eight of uh, eight of 
swords. Two of cups, but those all came out reversed. This energy right now. I didn't see the fucking Queen of Swords. Fuck she just come from. So you, you could have been dealing with an air sign. This is somebody who, who restricted you, blocked you. I actually think the masculine is realizing that. I think they're seeing this now. They're now seeing it. I'm seeing like arguments. Yeah, moving forward. Not putting the effort in. Seeing something differently. Yeah, something didn't go in their direction. Let's see what's happening over here real quick. Just want to see where this energy is at. Because it looks like they're finally releasing something or someone or a situation. But damn, look at all that. These are these are all like negative. Okay, hold on. I just, I don't want that many. Someone put you in a very hurtful situation. Yeah, see, interference, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, third-party interference, which then therefore caused a separation. Sad, now missing you, thinking about you, yearning for you, unsure about the future. But I don't know. Then you got the snake, competition, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, the other woman. So, yeah, they let a family dynamic that a family dynamic, they, I don't even see anybody that was sleeping together at one point, maybe, but this is somebody who had, it's like, it's coming out so different ways. They couldn't control you, but they can control this one. It came down to the point where somebody got themselves in a situation. There was too many people involved. They chose the past because they probably have children together. If not, they have history, business, something because they allowed it to happen. It's almost like they they stayed with this energy too out of comfort, out of fear. Fear of abandonment issues, not wanting to let this energy go. And they missed the, a really good opportunity with this energy here. And, and this is kind of arrogant. This energy over here wanted the feminine to chase them. Thinking them playing hard to get would work. And it backfired. It backfired in every direction. You literally were messing with somebody who works with the universe. Like, I, I don't, like, this person that you're dealing with is not very spiritual. Because they would have known better. It's like a big wake-up call for somebody. Like, playing games allowed the competition. Juggled. Gave everybody excuses why they did it. So we have self-worth and soulmate, okay, and ascending at the bottom of the deck. I asked about the five of wands. So this is somebody who's probably now seeing something, is leveling, leveling up a notch, but still doesn't know how to go about something, but is gaining self-worth. They're now seeing what I guarantee you saw a long time ago, and they didn't want to own it. They didn't want to admit it. They didn't want to... This is somebody who just lies to themselves. This person couldn't even own their own lies. You know? But I really do see this situation improving for this energy over here. Someone is ascending. Somebody is reeling self-worth. Somebody is seeing a soulmate situation. See, this is what I'm saying. Now that somebody realized that this actually went down, this is where somebody wants to step in and, and kind of be vulnerable. Like, the blockage is gone. 
but it doesn't mean it's going to cut it because again ascending and still going in this direction so you, this one has knows lessons okay you can't this is somebody who's extremely intuitive this person knew exactly what was happening this whole entire time and this one wanted to play stupid and here's the thing the person over here was smart they knew what they were doing and that's the shitty thing they stepped on too many toes so when that happened, they gave this one an excuse. I need to get to know who I am. I did blah, 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 blah. You know, no. They got caught up. They didn't make a choice. It came down to the point where they had to make a choice. They didn't make a choice. So the safe route was to stick with the past. And they're not even happy with the past right now. You know, and now they don't know where anybody stands because this is what goes around comes around. And this energy over here, like I said, strong. The minute she made the decision to shut it down, she ascended. She, she's, she's heading somewhere on a whole nother spiritual level, too. Or just in a brand new direction. But yeah, this energy over here wanted, wanted you to chase them. They, they thought, they actually thought that would work. This is kind of playa energy. Somebody who thought they had something in the palm of their hands and it backfired. So I do see that energy shifting. I feel like we've talked about this story like that before, so I don't know why. Yeah, see? Two of Cups reversed. This is somebody who knew they had that connection too, but they know how to shut it down. Doesn't mean it didn't hurt, but they shut it down. But see, they're not worried about it. That's where that strength comes in. So this worry, fear is over here. So this, this, I'm not really sure why the point of this reading even had to come out. Because the energy, looks like the energy shifted more on this side. It could have shifted over here, but not enough where you would see it. You know what I mean? So I don't even know why I read that energy. But yeah, the blockage was the past. Some, some woman. And the thing is, there it's like being kind of still stuck in a, still frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence, doesn't want to face this one, doesn't want to tell this one I'm going in this direction because it would probably hurt this one, doesn't want to leave them in a situation where someone feels unsure about their future. So this one would rather settle. And it's, they're not even together. And this one won't even live their life. And this one likes control and has... A little bit of control over this one. It, this is a game between the fucking two of them, too. It, it's sickening, actually. So whoever's on this side, congratulations. I'm not going to lie to you. It does look like this energy does want to come back around. But, um... Mm. Yeah, I don't know about all that. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know about all that. Yeah, C4 of Wands, that's somebody who doesn't want a commitment, doesn't take things seriously, doesn't want to build on solid ground, lies, sabotages, situations. You deal see, here's the thing, you're dealing with somebody who's not freaking stupid. It's someone who plays stupid. It is that's like ouch. That's like a big lesson. This is somebody who played stupid the whole time. And they're not stupid. And you, again, just looking at this Sag energy. Sag. This is like obsession. This is somebody. Look at again. Same shit. Looking at the Sag. Here he is. Looking at the Sag. This is attraction. Seduction. Wanting it back. Same thing over here. How can I come in and hit this up? Let me see if I can even start an argument. Let me see, you know what I mean, if I can do this or do that. Like, This one still is not figuring it out. And if they are, they're just starting to figure it out. I honestly feel like this side over here knows it kind of exactly what's going on. And if you don't, I guarantee you don't care. You're in your own little world doing your own thing. You're ascending. Let's see what's happening over here. Clarity, truth, protection, power. 
love, whoa. Self-love, oneness, passion, unconditional love, attraction, dragonfly, being lighthearted, finding out, things come to light, adapting, changing. Okay, so there is a shift over here. Keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, one night stands, stringing along. Is that one night stand energy? It's like this, like for one second, I want to be like, okay, all right, it's looking a little better. And then it's like right back to keeping those options open. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Over here, we have somebody ascending, mastering something new, going in a new direction, worried about their own happiness, feeling strong. Break up, separation, yeah, stop the pattern. Girl with a snake, narcissist. Okay, so she's over here too. Not enough. It's either that or you separated because you know what was going on over here and it's not enough. Yeah, again, not today. So basically, we only have this one high priestess type energy that's moving forward. That's content enough. That's ascending. Doesn't need this bullshit. See, I knew it all carried into this. To me, it's more than just... You know the scenario. No way. So, she's over here. She's over here coming in as... No, it wouldn't be the Sag. Because that's how they're looking at you wanting to go near the High Priestess. So, they're coming in as Cancer. Or Pisces, or another Sag, or Scorpio, or a Leo. This person's either a Leo or a Cancer. Because this is the one that's ascending. Whoever's watching that spiritual, this is you right now. So the girl with the snake, not enough, malicious, kept somebody restricted, talk shit doesn't even have love for this person like that it's a sh it's shitty but this this person's in a way learning but I don't know see if this one wants to keep interfering this is somebody who's fucking smart I hope learning from the past Because that type of energy, yeah, see the Grim Reaper. This relationship's over. No second chances. This, this fucking chick was smart. She knew what she was doing. And I guarantee this one had no idea. Or they knew and they just played stupid with you. That's why they had to shut you down. Because it became overwhelming for the other person. They must have family or there's money or there's work. There's something strong enough. Where someone with a piss ass, fucking shit ass attitude that doesn't even love this person, doesn't deal with shit. You know what it is? This person, since there's more sensitivity on this side like that, this person emotionally manipulated a masculine. That's, that's how this person keeps it going. Emotional manipulation. And that sucks. I'll give you a little. Because that's probably what that person wants. Love certain stuff that they craved in certain situations that they never got in the past. So they went above and beyond and were real shitty about it. But it does really look like um, everyone, you know, it's over. Everyone, you know, things are coming out, finding out, adapting, changing. Time to move on for everybody. I don't know if this will come back around or not. Right now, this energy is ascending. That energy is not having it. Yeah. See, so it, something is going to try to come back around. They're going to release the past, which is some, some type of commitment, marriage, something, those wedding rings, and they're going to take action because they're recognizing somebody else. I just don't know, to be quite honest with you, 
if you you're even gonna want this person back this person straight up had purposely kept you confused lied to you kept you in a competitive situation a stagnant situation knew they were playing games it fed their ego don't let this person lie to you if this person comes back in and you really you two are gonna work it out you want to work out every fucking kink don't don't let this person for one second think they can't get something by you because they think they can this person over here thinks they're fucking slick rick but this person has a huge heart this person doesn't want to get vulnerable i'm actually getting like do you see me getting a little frustrated like don't let this person keep you in a situation because you just bounced out of it it would make sense that they'd be like all right i want to bounce back in you know but this person acts like they're happy without you they're not i don't need her i can move on Yep, can't stop thinking about you. They literally lied to you and said they wanted to discover who they were and blah, 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 which is complete bullshit. They had to make a choice. The pressure was on. And so they tried to let you go. They still completely did not let you go. It looks like you had to cut ties. This is somebody who kept you in a competition. This person's a real fucking piece of cake. This person kept you juggling, gave you, fed you excuses. I don't want to be in a relationship. I want to be single. I'm just trying to find myself. Blah, 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 blah. It, it, it was their way of manipulating the whole situation. Don't let this puss person fool you. This person knew exactly what they were doing. I'm, I'm not, I can't stress that enough. This person better own every piece of fucking bullshit they threw your way. Or I'd tell them to fucking continue to kick rocks. This person don't have a fucking shot if they don't come at you with the truth. So, there's that. That person thought playing hot to get was a turn on for the high priestess. They had no idea what they were messing with. They couldn't control this one. They can't even, this, this energy is mysterious. They can't even read this energy. All they see is beauty, attraction, someone intelligent, but they can't read it. It's very mysterious energy. That's because you're dealing with somebody who's extremely spiritual. Not a little spiritual, extremely spiritual. They try to play games, and it backfired. What do you mean? This person loves me. That, they, that person will definitely come back. Nope. 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 This person's not attracted to this. This person over here, not attracted to this. Not going to chase somebody. Not going to play great games. My goodness. <clears throat> I don't know why. I just saw grains. I saw like a farm of grains. But like back in the day, grains. I don't know if you were feeding chickens on a field. Farm work, factory work. You had a past life with somebody. I don't know if you're about to have premonitions about that or if they're having premonitions about that. The thing is, this freaks this connection freaks them out because they don't understand it. But they feel it. It's not a bad feeling. It's a good feeling. And I don't want to hear in the comments, oh, fear what, love will overcome fear and blah, 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 blah. Maybe you should cut somebody a break and maybe you should be a little more sensitive. Yeah, maybe. Maybe at some point, but right now, this person that wants to come back straight up has been fucking lying to you and playing games and thinking playing hard to get was attractive. Not giving you answers, keeping you distracted. This person was buying fucking time and they're not a fucking stupid human being. You are dealing with somebody who's extremely intelligent. So if this person wants back in your life, I promise you this, you better get the truth from them. Else you're wasting your time if you decide to go another round. Okay? Oh my goodness. This energy just now. Clear off the board. Some of you just go after new, honestly. And some of you, forgiving or not, you won't you won't go backwards. Okay. Um sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do.
for your own sake, your own happiness, and not worry about anybody else. When this person finds out you're going in a new direction, if they haven't found out yet, they're going to be shocked. You could be dating, you could be moving, you could be doing a new type of work, you could just post that you're on vacation. Like, once they, it's like shocking. It's like, they are shocked that you moved on. That's what I'm telling you. You were dealing with somebody who was kind of arrogant. This person would never leave me. This person knows I'm part of their life and vice versa. Well, guess what? This person over here was extremely fucking intelligent and will not play games and will not settle and wants somebody who's in tuned, okay, vulnerable. Because vulnerability to a fucking spiritual person, hot as fuck, that's what turns a spiritual woman on or vice versa, okay? Don't come in and try to be like, I'll give you this commitment and we can try to blah, 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 blah. Nope. They want emotions. They want a spiritual attachment. Commitment. If you can't give them that, don't bother wasting your time. Honest to God. You're dealing with somebody who knows exactly what they want. And if you're going to sit here and try to play games... Um, or well, they're going to try to play games, they're, they're in for a rude awakening. They've already had a rude awakening. It already backfired. But trust me, they're going to attempt to come back. I, I don't know why they thought playing hot, hot to get was cute, but uh, they messed with the wrong person, that's for sure. All right, I hope you guys have a kick-ass fucking week. I love you so much. Bye.